Hi guys. We are going to do um, a silhouette drawing from Midsummer Night's Dream. You could stop and have a discussion about what a silhouette means and pause the video. Um, but if not, a silhouette is, as you can see, it's all black and normally is at sunrise or sunset with the sun behind casting almost like a shadow okay so we're going to do a fairy from midsummer night's dream okay and try and make it and all the right wild forest coming through okay let's have a go so for this one sorry you will need i've got a fine black pen and um a thicker black pen just to colour the middle in but a fine black pen just to outline uh, you'll need your pencil and you will need I've used an old dictionary cut up in sections or you could use um, a printout of the script from Midsummer Night's Dream and you could use that to back it onto which would look really lovely okay and you'll need scissors and some glue and talking of that there we go. I lost my pencil. Right, here we go. I'm just going to move that off, turn it around so I can see. Right, what we're going to do first, I'm going to start with a fairy wing. So we're going to start in the middle of your page somewhere to allow for the arms and the legs to come out. I'm going to go up with a curved line, side face, all the way to the end. Hopefully this will show up on your screen, just at the top. Come diagonal, then you're going to cut, do a curve line back down in, so mirroring this curve. Another curve, this is for the second wing which would come over the top, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to do another curve, comes out slightly longer, diagonal, then we're going to go down, go into a happy face, into a sad face shape. You should almost be at the same position of where you started. So you should come down. Next I'm going to add part of her arm. Her shoulder is, the shoulder will be here. So you can do a curve there so you can see where her shoulder will be. So when her shoulder comes across on her arm, we're going to do a bit of her arm sticking out. You won't see the rest of it because it'll be covered up. I'm going to come out a little bit. Now this bit's tricky. Going to go up a little line over the top. You're going to do two fingers coming out. One, two. You're only going to show them by a tiny little bump. So they're, they're as if they're together, but you've got just a tiny little bump. Straight down. Then you're going to go across, up for the thumb. Across. And come down and just extend that line just a tiny little bit. Okay, so it just looks like our hands up in the air. Next, you're going to come and do sad face down and curve out. Okay, you can see I'm coming out as far as the hand on this one. I'm going to curve in. Oops, I've done it wrong. Don't do that bit. I'm looking at another bit. Okay, you're going to curve in this way a bit more. So they're going down, diagonal, back in. So it's almost like a V shape you've created. Going to come up, round. This is her waist and her back and her body. Going to come in. We're going to come in, out, in. So this is like a the very costume dress. I'm going to do all the dressing and I think it would be easier to add the lines on afterwards. So at the front I'm going to add another one. One, two, I'm going to curve out that way and back up. So you can see that I've curved in, back up, but I've come in, left it tiny for her waist. Okay. Let's continue with this bit and then we'll add the legs on afterwards. So I'm coming in for her waist. Out 
for the chest area and back in. We're going to come, um, come down for the arm. The arm has lots of shapes in it, so you think about where our elbow is, the bit below our elbow is quite fatty, our wrist is skinny, our shoulder is quite wide. Okay, so we're going to come in, out for the bit underneath our arm, round for our hand. Our hand's holding sake, we'll do that in a minute. Back in, so you've left a tiny gap for the wrist. Out. In. That's the bit that's below our elbow, the fatty bit. And we're going to come up, over for the shoulder, and round for the neck. On the end of the hand, I'm just going to add a little fairy wand, just a little triangle. Right, next bit. This is the bit I find tricky. Right, I'm going to go from the back. So I'm going to come back from the shoulder. I'm going to come up, out for the hair round and I think this is going to be easier to see if I do this keep on working backwards and forwards because of the shape it's quite tricky and I've had problems getting it looking right I'm going to come out for the jaw in out for the nose make it a round nose and straight up now you don't what I found before when I tried this earlier if you try and do the head too long it looks a bit weird and a bit silly so She's a tiny little delicate fairy. So try and make her look a bit more facial features, look a bit more squashed up. Okay. Over the top, I'm going to do a sad face shape for her crown out. And all it is is a couple of triangles going out like that. Next bit, she's got a puffy hairstyle on top, like a big bun on top of her head. So we're just going to do... Just some curves all the way around, join it up at the back. Okay. Next bit, let's move it down into the middle of it. I'm going to do her legs. Okay, this leg you're going to go straight the way down. A little bit, come down for her leg, straight the way down. Okay, not too, you want it a fair size, so this is short, you're going to have this a fair size. Come round in where the toes would be, out where the heel would be, in for the ankle, okay, so you've got a foot shape, you're going to go out and in, this is a calf, so in, out, then you're going to come out and go out for the thigh, okay, so it's narrower above the knee, out from the thigh, okay, so now you've got a delicate little leg shape. Same for this one, this leg's going to come out more this way, so you're going to come a more gentle diagonal, okay, straight, and then a curve, slight curve for the foot, this is the top front of the foot, and it's arched, oh, she's got her foot bent back, in, out again, so you're going to come round the corner, happy face, into a sad face again. In for a happy face, over for a sad face. So you're keeping the ankle small, the calf muscle bigger. Then you're going to come out diagonally, narrower, wider. Okay, bring that down. We're going to just add some, um, you don't have to copy me on this one, but we're just going to add some cutouts for the um, wings. So I'm going to come across. And just do like a triangle shape and another one next to it a little narrow so if you imagine this line here comes all the way down this is one wing so you want to keep that in like both those triangles in that wing so you don't have to add that line I'm going to come down in this wing follow it round do one there going to do a more happy face um, cut out and then I'm just going to do a more triangular one don't forget her arm will be cutting across this one so we'd imagine where the arm would be so if I just do a straight line there 
you don't want to cut across because otherwise your silhouette of your arm will be on top and you will have your arm coming across if you've done it that way try and keep it above imagine the arm is coming there and round the back okay so i'm just going to mark it in and then you'll do two little triangles i'm doing almost like a sad face for the bottom wing and then another one there okay so now you've got your silhouette what i'm next going to do i found this easier is just go around your um fairy with um a fine black pen biro will do black pencil will do it just makes it easier for um colouring to stop us going over the lines okay so i'm just going to do a tiny bit and you will finish and do the rest okay so right do that finish and do the rest and then pause the video and then come back in you'll then get i've got a chunk here black pen to make it easier you can use colouring pencil again and all i'm going to do is colour the inside in I shouldn't be able to go over the line because I've given myself a strong outline, a nice sharp edge. So you're going to come round. Don't do these cut out bits. Okay, and you'll come round like that. And come in the middle. And you see what I'm doing? So you're going to just, I'm still outlining it. And then just filling in the gaps. Okay. So you get the gist of this. So you're going to colour all your fairy in. Now the only bit that you won't colour in, apart from all these um, cut out bits here. These bits around here are the bits that you leave all white hollows. And the only other bit you'll leave is hollow is your crown. So don't colour the inside of there. Don't colour inside of these gaps. And you're going to do like this. Okay. So you can colour all this in. And go around. Right, that's that bit. Okay, colour the rest in. So you'll end up with your fairy looking like that one. Right, next bit. When you cut out, I always cut out, as you can see, let's bring this one back. I always leave a white edge. I don't cut up to my black line. I think it, it's nicer when you show your edges. Sometimes when we can cut, cut out, we can go a bit too thin or cut bits off. So leave a white thin line around the edge okay right let's talk about the background so i'm going to turn over and use this bit of card again so all i've got is an old dictionary like i said you can use the um script so you can print off a couple of pages of the script from midsummer night's dream you can probably google it and download it and all i'm then going to do where's my print stick falling down oh there it is so all I'm going to do is use my print stick and let's start at the top and you're just randomly going to go over it. You could, if you have wanted to, um, draw straight your fairy straight onto him. Um, I didn't do that obviously because um, for you viewing at home that would be quite difficult to um, see so you can see that I'm just building all this up and just overlapping them and not trying to keep them all in a nice straight line so it all you can read it again but just 
randomly do it. So then you're going to leave a thin black green border all the way around. Okay, you don't have to do a green card. I chose it because it looks like forest colours. Then what I've done is you're going to do the wiggly forest lines. See if I can do this upside down. So you're going to come out. So you're just going to do a series of um, wiggly lines like this. How they've done it is um, how they've done it is the main shape you want to create the end of this. If I do it over here, is an arc shape. So you, when you're following your lines out, you want to create an arc shape. So I've just done a couple. You can just see. Let's come down this side. So you can see that you've just created um, this arc shape, okay? And then what you'll do once you've outlined it, you'll go over with your black pen and then you'll fill the lines in really carefully. Okay, so you'll do all this. Like that. Go over the top. I'm doing this. So you'll do that. I've done one there, one there, and one up in the corner. So I turn it back. Fairies upside down. Turn around. So you can see that I've just created an arc shape like this. These almost look like um, the thorns out of like Maleficent when she has the thorny forest around surrounding her. So you can create something like that that um, gives that effect of a fairy land and the thorns. Okay, don't forget to upload your pictures. Be lovely to see them. You can check out the videos on YouTube channel and also why don't you have a go at trying a different classes artwork and having a go at that. Give yourself a challenge. Okay, thank you. See you soon. Bye.